Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And for all of those that have um, or that think that um, CrowdStrike, you know, it's a problem with Windows. A lot of people are on the impression that, well, you know, it's Windows also's fault. Well, I can tell you one thing is that there are many news reports that are saying that a lot of um, servers on Linux um, with Debian crashed in April due to crowdsource a problem with its uh, antivirus update. And so there were thousands and thousands of machines that crashed simultaneously. And also in June, apparently, there was another problem that also affected Linux. So, you know, this is where I always say uh, diversity is good, but it's untrue that Linux is unaffected by things. It is as much. And if Linux would be the dominant system, it would be the one that we talk about with viruses all the time. There is no such thing as Linux being more secure than Windows or a Mac being more secure than Windows. All systems are easy to compromise with problems, with bugs, and with all sorts of bad updates, and even with malware. So it's really uh, interesting to see the false impression that a lot of people have. And that shows the CrowdStrike problem that crashed Linux machines back in April and also created a lot of problems in June uh, shows that it affects any machine when there is something going on. Uh, with these types of bugs. And um, as far as uh, somebody was asking me about the fact that uh, Microsoft itself could have been, um, have, have had some problems with the CrowdStrike uh, BS, the blue screen. Uh, yes, apparently a lot of the Azure virtual windows, the Windows cloud machines, as they call them, crashed with blue screens and they had to fix that. Uh, because the virtual cloud windows was actually compromised by the CrowdStrike bug or the bad update that they issued. So it affects everybody in some way. But once again, you know, it's only 8 million computers, but it's computers that we've seen, uh, you know, bring the world of tech uh, to its knees, pretty much. Uh, it's pretty uh, interesting. The other thing of somebody was asking me about, you know, why is it so long for some companies to deploy and to, well, smaller companies sometimes don't have dedicated IT teams. So they have to ask or call for IT services. Uh, and if there was a lot of calls, well, the IT services could take longer. So there's a lot of that uh, going on. And of course, you know, people don't, that, that are not tech savvy, they're not um, any good with computers, um, will need somebody to help them with this. Because even though the fix could be easily done by anyone, it's not something that anyone can do because not everybody has the know-how. So that's also uh, the problem. But, um, you know, it's, it's, of course, resorbing quite fast. But still today on Tuesday, I, I, I was reading that there were still some enterprise that were still kind of stuck with that problem right now. And, um, you know, it shows that uh, maybe having an IT guy is probably a good thing. Uh, somebody in the comments here was saying that the enterprise where he is or he works uh, was down for a day. They, it took about nine hours to fix a hundred um, servers. So it's like, uh, you know, it's time dedicated and some enterprise have a lot of servers and hundreds and hundreds. So it takes time to deploy for all the machines also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.